Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dom. Uh, I want to thank you for tuning in and watch this quick tip about the SQ series. Uh, let's jump on the tip of the day. Guys, on this video, I'm going to walk you through the compression. So let's say that we are on this window. Uh, we select a channel, okay? And on the processing window on the bottom here, you can see a uh, peak or RM as you will see. So um, you can press in here and uh, the window of the compression will appear. Or if you want, uh, you can just press in on the side of your uh, desk and um, there is this compression uh, knob that uh, will just uh, be used for the threshold as you can see. So if we jump on the mix part, so we can have a, a different vision of how this works and I can explain you how the compression work. First of all, on the top, you can see your self kit. Um, that is a, a common called uh, side chain. So you can side chain this compression from another channel. And after you have got your filter, there is three different filter. There is the HPF, uh, BPF, and LPF. And after you have got two different compression mode, uh, RMS and peak. So RMS is the average, and the peak is the peak one. Um, you just press on top of each other and you choose which one are you using. After you have got uh, your soft knee, so you can switch from soft, uh, the different uh, soft knee setting that you can use. And after you have got your attack, your release, your ratio, your threshold and your gain. On the bottom here, um, you can see your histogram. So the histogram show the previous 12 seconds of uh, compressor activity. And this is going, as you can see, from left to the right. If I put the threshold all the way up, you will see that now this will disappear. If I start to compress, now you will see, there we go, something is telling us that something is happening. Last thing is your parallel compression. So this means that you can blend your parallel uh, compression signal with the uncompression signal that is coming. Um, so if I select this on the desk, and I, I, what I normally do sometimes just just to to try, because I, I love always try new things. So what I do, I do like minus six or minus seven, or minus five, and I put this minus six. Minus, I mean, we need to listen to see what is, what is happening, but I'm just telling you, I'm gonna do another video in depth where I explain and show you how you could use a compression. Um, and after talk about this, uh, you can also activate and disactivate this from, from here, as you can see. There's another way to activate your uh, compression. And you can also use, if you have got a deep plugin, so if I go on library, in here you have got all my list of compression. Let's say that I'm gonna call my opto. I'm just gonna do recall, and in here you will see the compression. Thank you for watching guys, please like and subscribe uh, if you find the video useful. Uh, just remember that these are all tips basic for a new user of SQ series. If you want to see more stuff in depth, I've got quite a lot of stuff on my channel and I'm recording every night day new stuff. So if you are interested, just subscribe to the channel so you will be updated with all my new videos. Thank you.